Second Municipal Buildings Committee. Uh, welcome everyone. Um, only one missing tonight is Dave Waskevitz. Expect him to be here uh, fairly soon, hopefully. Hopefully mid-meeting we'll catch him, um, but we'll go ahead and start. Uh, first order of business, do we have somebody willing to take some notes for us to, uh, tonight? <laughs> I'll do Hearing it. None. Claire, I'll thank do you. It. If I don't have to do it every week, I'll do it. This Absolutely time. not. We rotate, right? Okay. Here Next we week will be Tim since he said no <laughs> tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so kind. Yes. Tim, won't, Tim won't be here next week. No, I'm not going to be here. Appreciate it. Next week, I yeah. won't be here because we're not having a meeting. Right, we're not. Uh, good, so I appreciate that. Do we have any minutes to approve from the last meeting? Short and sweet. Here's the work. Sweet. Everyone down? Pass them around. Yeah. I already read them. <laughs> and did you accept them? <laughs> well, I didn't check myself for spelling. It's not one of my oh, stronger yes. problems. By the way, do we have a select board member attending tonight that we know of? No. Okay. I wasn't sure if anybody had talked. I did uh, send some notices out to them. Yeah. we get these in PDF somewhere and we'll, we'll continue to keep them organized. Um, we need to put get them in, under a website. Wondering if the new website will want, enable us to, to post the minutes. Um, when it be, it's up and running. It would be prudent to do that. Yeah, yeah. okay. There's, uh, especially with the coordination in the meeting room, since the hope is well in another meeting room, um, yeah, they're looking at different ways of um, coordinating that. Okay. To use these rooms, and yeah, the, and we need to uh, get everything on board. I think that Dee Dee can help us a, a lot with that. That'd be great. Um, okay, so let's move to uh, any public comments or correspondence uh, obtained from uh, the last meeting onward. Nothing directly to us. Um, there, there was one from um, the assistant assessor. You might have seen the letter. <laughs> I think it went to Happy Buildings, right? It did. From uh, yeah, it's a bit, yeah. Dan. Yeah, yeah. Does it need to be read? I no, should not read it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, as we as we expected, uh, not not all were uh, uh, in favor of making the modifications to town hall to accommodate additional Hadley staff, um, you know, for for the uh, short term. So uh, we we were told by select board we should move forward with the process, and um, I'm sure there's some some kinks we can iron out in the. In the uh, Tomorrow at things. 11 o'clock, there is a very large meeting of all the departments. Ten. A ten, ten. I'm sorry. To discuss the layout and um, the request to everybody. Yeah, you know, what needs to be part of the department area. needs, what you know, to be moved, what they're gonna take with them, what they need for you know set up when they get there. Okay. That was the only public comment I got. Uh, as we'll get through the um, the agenda tonight, we did have the um, distribution of the um, the report from Mr. Weinberg on the uh, 
Hooker School um, for the State Historic Preservation Office. So we'll, we'll go through that as well. Uh, I don't believe there was any other correspondence or anything like that. Uh, how about a report out on uh, some of the other building committees? Do we have anything? Um, Dan, anything from Senior Center? I had their minutes from the last meeting. Um, Uh, the bid process, bid docs go live January 21. Uh, Yesterday. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You see, bid due date is February 8th. So are there filed subbids on that? Yes. So those would have gone live first, right? And then and then there's usually two weeks yeah. before that. Wasn't there enough room to? Where are we? But they had filed subbids. Oh yeah, filed subbids are due due date January twenty eighth. The pre bid walkthrough is tomorrow at ten AM. That's the schedule we have. Okay. Okay, so the G C bid is uh, February twentieth. And then building committee vote on the GC is February 26th. Select board vote on the GC February 27th. And contracts finalized between the 27th of February and March 13th. Okay, well, let's hope for a good bid. Hopefully we get some good quantity of bidders as well. Right. Okay, Any, anything else uh, notable? Yeah, and, uh, Phil said that, that you know, he expected <coughs> to have plenty of bidders. Right. So. Yep. Man, somebody had mentioned that some of the material prices are down now too. So. so just for the record, I know we don't we don't talk too too much about milestones, but start construction of a new building March fourth of nineteen. Sounds a bit aggressive given the mm -hmm. construction docs uh, yeah. finalization of the contract is I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. yeah. With a substantial completion of March 2nd, 2020. So just under under one year construction phase. And then two months for move in and occupancy. So occupancy of the of the senior center per the schedule April 29th of 2020. Okay. Uh, you know, pertaining to our Hi, Chris. How are you doing? Uh, some of the information for kind of mail my last meeting. They did have a, you know, a committee uh, to meet with the GC and OPM, Suzanne, Jane, and Christian. And that would be the subcommittee from, from the Senior Center Building Committee to meet with the you know, their weekly or bi weekly meetings. Okay, so uh, has the scope and um, uh, fee proposal for, for the OPM services during construction been approved? And, and uh, I know last meeting we talked about trying to get those scopes from Mr. Nixon and just make sure that everything was, uh, you know, aligned between the two OPM services. I didn't follow up on okay. that. Yeah, I haven't followed up on that either. So yeah, it'd be good just to make sure. I mean, if we're if we're really looking at it, potentially March, uh, mid March, start of construction. It's yeah. not too long before we have to make sure we've got the scopes figured out. Okay, so that's it on senior center. You want the fire one? Yeah. Okay. They pushed their bids to go out uh, a month. To into April instead of March so that they could give the other ones a head start. Yep, okay. <coughs> so they're looking at their 100% contract documents due on the 5th of March 2019 with uh, uh, GC bid date June 6th. Meeting for a building committee meeting to approve the GC June 11th, select board vote June 19th, finalized construction contract 
between June 20th and July 9th. So the start of construction would be July 1st. Completion of construction contract would be July 6, 2020. Again, 12 months with move-in, commissioning, final completion, and occupancy August 31st, the 1st of uh, 2020. Here we go. Occupancy, uh, August 31st, 2020. Thanks, Gary. That's nice to have that. Um, she got one from the library like that, too. Yeah, this is. Yeah, Phil, <laughs> Phil, I know there is one. Phil, yeah. He brings yeah. one pretty much every time. Do you want me to make. I wish, have coffee made, so I wish he did different colors so we knew what one was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's nice and organized. Mm. appreciate that. I mean, do you want. Copy so you can kind of have it to go by for the committee, you know. What can you distribute it uh, through the website, the Hadley Buildings Gmail? Just email it out. I am I'm not on that list. I'm not getting those mails. You're not on that the Hadley Buildings uh, no. Gmail. Hmm. Claire, you are. I was, right? but I haven't gotten any. If there was something that came out, I just uh, said earlier. All I did this morning was distribute oh, Alan's report. That. Uh, through okay. that, so if you got that, then I got that. you should okay. be getting. So you I didn't get that. I didn't get that. You know, if there was a letter so from you know, uh, yeah. assessor, yeah. assessor did not get that. Yeah, uh, that that did go to Hadley Buildings as well. Hmm. We um, need to check who's on that. So you didn't get this morning's email from uh, myself. Uh, nope. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll check the distribution. I think Andy had set that up or originally, and it was yeah, I think that's. Okay. Yeah. Let's, this morning you set it up? let's make a note to uh, mm -hmm. just check in with with uh, Andy Klopaki, who set up originally set up the distribution for the Halley Buildings Gmail account. So he added you to it. And yeah. So it has, still has some yeah. administrator rights. So I, honestly, I don't know how to do that. So I, I don't know if I have administrator rights or not. But Okay. okay, Dan. Yeah, we'll make sure that gets mm -hmm. gets taken care of. We can uh, ask Andy if he wants to uh, hand it over. I'm sure he would at this point. Andy's not did part of our. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Or at least give us instructions on how to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I guess we probably don't have a library report out, right? So we'll wait for David on that. David's yeah, they're meeting there. right now. I think over there. Yeah. So. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, should we get right into the agenda on, on the uh, library, or uh, the Hooker School Report, um, which was distributed? Oh, Christian, first, do you have any kind of uh, report from Select Board, anything of substance that we should uh, we should hear from you first on? Uh, nothing in particular that I can think of right now. You know, the only thing I was going to add on the senior centers, the bid pre-bid walkthrough is tomorrow right. morning. Uh, I don't know if you guys mentioned that or not. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I don't have anything else I can think of right now other than, yeah, asking more questions, but I don't need to be, you know. Yeah, so so the, just to be clear for the camera, I guess the, the demo work for Hooker School is part of the library project, right? So the, the senior center construction is just a, a fresh site, if you will, right? There's mm -hmm. there's no demo work or anything. Right. Right. Limited site work getting in there and, and then they would be build, building out half the parking lot, I guess, more or less, along the demising lines that were shown in the planning board approval. Gary, is that right? Yeah, and I know the senior center. They're gonna they're gonna buy the extra eight lights or whatever it is, so that they're all uniform. I heard that, that too. They're gonna procure that from <coughs> right. the same vendor. Okay, good. And if there's anything else you guys can think of too that should be in there, you know. We can just mention it to Phil, basically. Somebody can mention it to Phil, whether it's me or Dan or whoever. You know, things we want to see that are similar along those lines. It's probably going to be more exterior than interior, I'd imagine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's probably a lot of coordination items, some of which we really can't um, name sole source items on. So, yeah. you know, we, we can probably share shop drawings and submittals and things like that with the library mm -hmm. designers just to make sure that we may potentially get the same products and make everything kind of Especially benches and things like that that might be outside. You kind yeah. of want them to yeah. all match up. So, signs ought to be yeah. pretty much by the same vendor. The, the wayfinding package for the whole mm -hmm. site ought to, be, ought to be the same. Yeah. Um, 
I don't know if it's too late for any of that. I think I think they they talked about that, didn't they? They did. They the, said they were coordinating the, together. The sign on the front was going to be where they were going to work together on that. Right. Well, oh, that's promising. Good. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Maybe uh, I'll give Phil a call and just see if he can give us a list of Phil the said. items which he's hoping to coordinate between. Yeah. So the, uh, the both, lights, both the projects. signage in the front of the mill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. All right. I wonder about the the fencing. Usually, these big projects are fenced in. Who you know is that is Collier's going to construction uh, fence? There. Yeah. Uh, which which project is going to take the you know, bull by the horns on that. Yeah. Are we going to pay twice by accident? Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of stuff like that. I think we could. Uh, let's see what the list looks like from them. You know, and what they coordinate and build build from that. Okay. And then just one other thing is, as far as the town hall renovations go, is Christopher uh, kind of taking that over a little bit with you, Gary? Is that the plan right now? It's it's actually. Yeah, well, he, we're having a meeting tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All in all, I think it's going pretty well. Okay. The, um, uh, select board, um, David Phil. Yeah. Uh, and Gary and myself went through uh, the what we're doing here and went through uh, the senior center to see what actually there was for furniture and things like that. So Gary can start. The process of um, getting mover bids and stuff like that. One of the primary reasons we're having the meeting tomorrow is to go through all the departments and ask them what they probably want to bring over and try to coordinate that. We went up to the second floor, sort of uh, did a visual layout. I, I volunteered to, to put it on paper when the time comes. I've updated the floor plans. I've distributed the to you guys okay. um, today, okay? Um, but ho hopefully things will go more or less okay tomorrow at the 10 o'clock meeting and we'll get some good um, feedback from all the departments. Certainly the, the select board has said this is more or less finalized mm -hmm. uh, on how it's going to be, but yeah. we'll see what comes out of that meeting. Most, most of the departments are really not planning on bringing a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's some filing cabinets with certain files that are going to have to be moved around. Uh, I've talked to the Alumni Association, they got a few things. Uh, you know, the plans from the planning board will be going up there. Uh, I talked to TV5, um, you know, he's explained how much space he needs and what he needs. Uh, we're working on getting the, the finalized for the data and stuff so that we can get the quote from the electrician. He's gonna. He's already been up and checked out the electrical panel. Mm -hmm. that's capable of you know bumping up for what they need for power. <coughs> <coughs> so once we get that done, we'll that's here or over at, at the library. library. Okay. Um, a lot of like I said, most of the departments is, that we've talked to so far, there's not gonna be a lot of stuff being moved other than a few filing cabinets yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, so the biggest thing now is to kind of get everything together on what you know, like senior center. A couple of things will have to be sold. The bigger ticket items that they're not moving. A couple of things are going to have to be stored, like the refrigerator they're planning on using. Mm. And most of the stuff will be the minimal stuff over to the church. And then after that, most of that stuff will be gone. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now we're talking about possibly like maybe having some kind of a sale or something over there, some type of thing, so we don't have to, you know. Go out the <laughs> advertiser or anything. Yeah, that would I mean, be it's a bit tag or whatever. You know, just kind of a tag sale type of thing that mm -hmm. way. Because Literally, what's over there has probably been used four times in hand yeah. Yeah, 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 before yeah. it went over there. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. and, and believe me, most most of it's not going to get you any money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, know, stuff I, is just not worth yeah. anything. I've just cleaned up my mother's house, and it's amazing what you know, stuff is like. You know, if you had old gas pumps or something, then you can make money. But mm -hmm. this yeah. kind of stuff we've got over there is going to be. Well, I think, you know, luckily, you know, uh, select board Phil had a lot of time to um, uh, give the last few days and last week. And I think a lot a lot has happened in the last week. You know, Chris, uh, the new DPW director, is really on board. Uh, and certainly Gary's jumped into it with both feet getting everything squared away. So I think we're in a pretty good 
we're, we're in pretty good shape right now, just as long as... As far as, like, yeah, as far as emptying it, the biggest thing is we got to get everybody to play nice. So. Mm -hmm. What's the time frame to vacate the building completely? They want, they want the senior center over to the church by April 1st. And we're going to try and to do that with most of the departments. And so. Yeah, and then after that, it's, I guess, the kind of out by the middle of April with the rest of them. But like I said, a lot of them, the part-time you know, committees, we can, as long as we have a spot yeah. to put some of the stuff, we can move it. We can start doing that now, like the sewer plant, yeah. the sewer department that was over yeah. there. We've gone through, Dennis picked out three cabinets and maps that we're going to condense, bring those down to the plant. Then that room is going to, you know, we're just going to start putting stuff that's going to, is not being moved is going to go into you know certain rooms so that it's easy for somebody to come in and say this is what's going to be sold and this is what has to be moved. Good. And when's the demolition contract? Uh, I'm not schedule? sure when that is. Yeah, well, I think that that's why they wanted everything out by the 15th, so <coughs> yeah. that can be coordinated properly. Okay. So, I mean, tomorrow's a big day to see how everything goes. Right. At this really big Hopefully meeting. people show up but only heard the, from like five. Uh, <laughs> the major part of the renovations here, Tim, is that going to have to be a bid or is that just a I know, little I piece bill of carpentry not. kind of stuff? No, we've no. got to, I'll pull the permit. I've got a guy that will help us just on a lot of small projects. Okay, so, so this is small. The biggest, project, the biggest one's going to be the set, the safe moving. Yeah. yeah, we don't have a price yet on that. The So Linda... And Joan down here at the church next door has decided that they they're okay with without the renovations. So we're not going to do that. So it's just downstairs in those two rooms to bump out the the one door. Uh, right. And one that's wall pretty and the door simple. Yeah. creating. And the other okay. One so it's just a little bit of rough carpentry. And yeah, it's not too much. Yeah. I mean, we're talking. Um, like he says, the issue is going to be that safe. We don't, we don't have that price yet. That's a very large safe. Very, where's, very large. Where's heavy. that? Downstairs, right? It's downstairs. In, okay. in that first room on the, mm. the northwest side of the building. Mm. And it's never been used for probably 40 or 50 years now, plus more. He so figured it's at least five ton. So is there any value to it? Yeah, well, I think there's some value mm. to it. But well, we're not using it. Hmm? But it's in the way. Yeah, well, um, but it's at Hooker. No, it's no, here. It's, it's, here. it's here. Oh, okay. It's in this building. And it takes up a tremendous amount of room. It's how big? It's, it's, it's three feet deep, five feet wide, and 53 inches tall. Deep. Yeah. Just so it will fit through the door. If but just fits through the, the double door. doors, yeah, both yeah. double doors, barely. He's got to yeah. bring in his jack back to see if he can actually, mm -hmm. if it'll clear Do like a pallet jack or something like that. He's got a special safe ringing yeah. moving type thing. What'd you do with those big safes you had? Yeah, I just, I, I just forklifted them out of my basement. Yeah, and then somebody just bought them. And yeah, I think I listed them on Craigslist or something, but I was able to get them out or. I forget if I got him out with a forklift or I had a guy with one of those, um, you know, one of those forklifts you put on the back of a truck, like when you get yeah. lumber delivered or yeah, something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I got a delivery one time and a guy just helped me lift it out of the basement real quick, but I had it all ready to go. I mean, yeah, that heavy stuff, you, it's easier to move than you think, actually. Well, this thing's massive, so yeah. like five tons. These, like I had some huge safes in my basement. This one we have to brace the the beams of the cellar up. In so the floor, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're waiting for that price. Yeah. I think that's the clincher right now. Yeah, right. And the problem, the wheels are, you know, straight on wheels, so we oh, just yeah, gotta yeah. go and then roll and then put on channel iron on top of steel uh, yeah. and yeah. plywood and then, you know, roll on that so that it doesn't pop through the floor. It's really the weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it sounds yeah. like other than the safe, the rest of the activities are yeah, we're hopeful. Not uh, I mean, significant. To looking at some of the furniture, um, we're getting. You know, there's a few people trying to get some pricing right now. They're, they're thinking about re uh, setting this room up differently and possibly getting a nicer conference table so we can use these other places. But again, it's all you know. It's all money, and it just that's the big issue. 
you know, when we start putting all these dollars together for the mover and everything else, that, you know, we just got to make see if we're okay on the dollars. Is there something from the committee we need to do relative to the construction costs and how it's funded? Or is that, you know? I, talking to David, it sounded like we might have around $11,000 to do renovations moving. That's what we kind of have for this project. So yeah. I don't know what it's going to cost. Yeah, we don't. No, yeah. I think that's going to be in between moving costs and yeah. construction so and safety. I think that's going to take uh, care of the, the construction and the safe. Maybe. And maybe a couple pieces of furniture in there, but I don't think it's going to cover the the moving the move. cost in there. Yeah. So I don't, the library. I think we're going to. I think that that's what we were kind of waiting. Mm -hmm. And that's what I. Yeah. That, that's why I don't know if, you know. Christopher's involved or how we want to do it and where we're going to get the money from and who who's going to come up with those well, yeah, well, like how Christopher what, and I are in charge of the money <laughs> yeah 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 but how it's all gonna what the structure is that then we can get it all together and you know see what we can do for money is that we just have to figure that out well we can get estimates and we can like, well, like all of our good. projects we put together you know mm -hmm budget so yeah yeah we should be doing that. yeah I mean as soon as I find out the data requirements I can get the electrical stuff up there you know, yeah we've got to build if we've got to build some you know temporary walls or something yeah. whatever. and I, I know yeah. ha like Happy Media does have, they have like <laughs> they 15 have or 18 thousand dollars for moving expenses yeah, associated with this that's already been approved so stuff over there I think yeah the we finance, probably have a little bit more the finances I'm not in charge of yeah yeah then like the things over here in town hall we haven't really budgeted for those but we can figure it out you know? okay so short of just putting together a list of all the activities and, and bids for that then you should be okay yeah we'll yeah. tell you what it's gonna cost yeah okay yeah and then we'll see what we can do, you know. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's got to be done. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah. I know. It's uh, we, but, did, but we'll see. Did anybody ask David if there's a way of taking money from some of a budget and, and then reimburse at the at the next town meeting or something? We because we we're kind of right there at the town meeting, kind of. Yeah, and that I think. We might be able to do something. Yeah. Well, I'm speaking off the cuff here. We might be able to do something like that. We just know how much it is. Yeah, but right now, that was like where we were at. And then I think, you know, maybe we could, since I know some projects that we were going to do kind of got a little bit delayed by this project, um, maybe there's something we can do there to try to yeah. juggle it around. I don't know. Mm, okay. But, but we also, yeah, have to be worried about what we can get approved and not approved and all those things. Yeah. Okay, well, let's just stay organized with the list of uh, yeah, I mean, activities in the... Here we spent a lot of time months. with it, so he's been all yeah, yeah. to do it, and things are going great. But It'd be great, Gary, if you could just throw a list together for our next meeting and just show us what everything's going to cost. You know. If I get that far, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Just, just like all of our projects, you know. Just wait yeah. for the estimates. To come and out. it sounds like David's involved as well, and Christopher's involved, so I don't want to, like, mm -hmm. also get added yeah, more yeah. complication to this if, you know, people yeah, well, are already right. looking at True. it, so... Yeah. We've kind of stepped back a little bit because Chris is now here. Yeah, and yeah, good. Out, and yeah. And Gary's working under him, so I think that's okay. where it's going. Right now. Sounds good. Uh, so let's talk about the Hooker School Report next. Uh, didn't write that on the agenda, but uh, mm -hmm. clearly, clearly something uh, the Library Building Committee and Alan would like us to. To, to approve tonight. Uh, maybe, Claire, you could kind of give a, a brief summary of why we're doing all this. I know that's sort of your background, so yeah, I'll let you so do that. Uh, I believe the Massachusetts Historical Commission requested that the town um, provide documentation um, to mitigate the loss of the school to the town's. Um, it's a contributing resource to the National Register District and the Hadley Village overlay. So if you look at the National Register nomination papers online, it's actually the first property listed in the nomination. Um, and it's got two building forms, one from the 70s, one from the 80s, when they were when the historical commission in town was doing all the nominating and getting things organized. Um, so then Alan Ginsburg and I think I forget her name already, she's in the library. Alan <laughs> and um, Marjorie Pratt Townsend. So they work together 
to come up with this report to give to the historical commission in Boston to show that we've done our due diligence, that we've, we need the site for the library and the senior center. And what he did, I tried to, um, he and I met and we reviewed the formatting to make it sound more of a, it's more of a report. Um, and I thought it was important for him to put in that the town voted for this. It was from the town, the town needs this, and that it's, that it's not, um, anyway, so, and then he reformatted it so it's more report-like and less of a reminiscence. Less nostalgic. Less yeah, nostalgic. Right. It's more of it's more. Um, he double checked the um, descriptions with the building form, and he actually updated Form B, which is an official form for the Mass Historical Commission. And he's going to put together, like he said in the report, a whole package with all of the Form Bs, the first one, the second one, and then the updated one because it hadn't been updated since I think the roof is the newest thing. Yeah. And the roof was replaced by the um, the no. metal roof. And um, so I think it's I think it's solid. I think it's good. I think hopefully I'm not sure who our liaison at Mass Historical Commission is, but I think he as far as you can tell, yeah. this is kind of the due diligence that yeah. was required of us to this point. Yes, and I think the select board should um, approve approve the report. I know they're going to write a letter and yeah. But on our recommendation, I, I I would advocate that we recommend the report goes forward. Okay. Any discussion over the uh, the report questions? You guys should have it. I'm sorry, Dan. Maybe maybe don't have a copy. I want to, I want to scroll through. All I there. saw was the preliminary uh, one from can, last week's oh, meeting. This, one this is I printed it uh, this morning. So yeah, I, I mean, think we already kind of summarized the changes. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So a lot of this stuff is referenced. And somebody says that he's got like the original architect, the blueprints for the yep. main part. I've got the ones for the backs. Okay. No, I have. He got them from me. Okay. Yeah. I don't know that he found the, the main part. He did. Yeah. Not I just not the, the, just the, the front, edition, part, right? but the front. Yeah, I have those. Okay. The original drawing. The original blueprint. Yeah, I, yeah. I sent them your way, but I thought you only had the back portion. No, I have the, I have the, okay. I have the, I have the back portion. I don't have the back portion. Oh. Yeah. So they should I be yeah, uh, I, I, I don't need right. it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> that would make sense. Put them back. Yeah. I'll bring it up. Yeah. Well, Alan has a nice big fat notebook of research, so I think yeah, that should that will, pictures of and that will be a good um, resource for the town to just keep somewhere safe. And what's the What's the little YouTube project that he started? Have you seen that? I did. He it's um it's called I think it's called Remembering Hooker School, and it's got some good, got good yeah. photos and. Um, some quotes from people who went to the school. Hmm. Yeah. 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 And we put it out on Hadley Media, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then it went out on Facebook. And it's been shared around because right. I have, my in laws are all from Hadley. And oh, I found Joe. <laughs> so I think it's making people good. feel good, but I think people are understanding that it's. The 350th needed. has decided yeah. to do a couple things. Uh, they have asked to see if they could uh, get some hooks, uh, sell those off, and bricks. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of interest in uh, getting a brick. So I, I think yeah. we're going to do some, try yeah, and get something done. Yeah. Yeah. And they've gotten a couple artists involved in it, and they're going to take the bricks and write on the bricks and things like that. They're going to be presenting it to the select board. Uh, in a request. Is that through maybe the Cultural Council or something like that? The 350th. Okay. Yeah, well, Hopkins alumni. Home, okay. Home alumni, yeah. Hopkins alumni association. So they have some good. really good ideas. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be great uh, to, to have something that, and all the money goes back to scholarships at Hopkins. Mm. So they're not going to be selling the stuff at, at huge prices. I mean, a buck and right. two or something. And, but it'll all go back. So good. Uh, I'm hopeful that we get associated for uh, the demo work. They generally are the ones that usually are low bid around here, uh, and they they're. Is that a sub? Will that be a sub bid? I guess it might yeah. be. 
I don't, I don't know if it's a requirement for it. But if we can, if they're the ones that take down the building, they're very good about working with talents to do things like that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it'll, I think it'll be just a win for everybody. <coughs> it'll be something nice to give back yeah. to the alumni. Mm -hmm. So Claire, the, uh, the existing report will go to Mass Historical, this report, yes. and, and, um, and then they can act on it and ask for additional photo documentation yes. or something else if they want to, or they could, they could be comfortable with this as well right. and just let us proceed. For I'm pretty sure that they, I think it's, I, I'm not exactly sure, but I think they will hopefully accept it, put it in the file with the happy things, and it might become um, part, there's a, you can search online with all the building forms, the macro oh, yeah. system, it might just get uploaded. Okay. Hopefully that would happen onto right. the website. Okay. So, those yeah. plans may be important someday, so we should yeah. make sure we have we have those. Uh, mm -hmm. So well, this is something that we need to start um, uh, looking at. That we've got we've got quite a number of 100 year old plus uh, sets of drawings on some of these buildings, and we need to preserve them. Okay. Some of them are in rough shape, but it would be nice to make sure that they're preserved. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's over 100 years, those drawings. Yep. That okay. could be a CPA, something CPA. Yes, we need um, to think for yeah, that. That's, that's actually a bad idea. Yeah, that's good. If you guys want to do that. Yeah. They're looking into that for the for those yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's our place in Williamstown that does the document conservation. Mm -hmm. We could get money for them to do it, mm -hmm. for CPA. Would would the Hadley Historic Commission do that, or would be that would, would we need some other champion to initiate that? I'm just wondering. Yeah. If something we should at some point maybe make that our own task to get a to get a price from them to do that. And, yeah, um, I think, think that about a future town meeting agenda. I think that would be good to come from both from the historical commission and from here. First thing we should probably just come up with a list of what we want to do. So yeah. That, you know, yeah. Of what documents. Get everybody on board and then try to get a quote from them. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, based on Claire's review and comments on this uh, motion, that um, the Make municipal the building so committee to approves the report second. as is. Second. Gary, second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Uh, it's a nice absent. Yeah, so it's yeah. very well organized. It's good. It's yeah. Hopefully, this is it, right? The, the clearance here from this point. Um, he did draft a, a letter from the uh, from the select board, which I think is a, a very initial draft, and sort of wanted us to just consider that uh, you know there's a paragraph here that indicates that the. Um, you know, all groups involved have have done their due diligence and recognized that it just wasn't feasible from an operational cost or cost perspective uh, to do anything other than take the building down and use the existing parcel for new construction. Um, so yeah. I think he's asking us to sort of get behind that statement and based on, I mean, you can look through the archives of all our meetings and, and essentially this is where we came to as a committee. Mm -hmm early in our uh, purview here, so I don't think we would disagree with that at this point. Okay, well that's good. Um, so we can advance that via the select board to the state, and then we'll go from there. Uh, what other items do we have on the agenda, Tim? Is there anything else? No. We didn't hear anything from David Waskevitz on the library, but I don't think he's going to make it before we close <laughs> out tonight. According Blood. to the uh, newspaper, the North Hadley Hall is a go as far as a sale. They they fired yeah, us. yeah. We have a realtor uh, right now that's been hired. I did want some clarification from them because, um, you know, as part of that um, bid was a title search to make sure the title. Well, there is really no title, so 
kind of figure yeah, that out. Originally, that was supposed to be part of it. So that was part of the bid, and I just wanted to clarify that they understood that that was part of accepting the bid because they put that in there, but it wasn't their scope of work and our scope of work didn't quite match up completely in the quote they gave us. So there was, I just had that question, yeah, that, which that, Jennifer that's, that's was working kind of on. Important. Yeah, yeah, because either they need to say yes or we need to figure out exactly. if we just need that to do that get, so because it's going to require some time yeah, yeah. yeah. we so tried to do probably, some preliminary right. stuff but nobody kind of with not title search skills was able to find it right off the and bat that, so. i think that was that that's where it all started to break down yeah. actually when you know we had we already had a buyer yeah who made an offer and upped his offer and it got to that stage where we're looking for the title and it, uh, all these things started to pop up. I don't know, that lot never even came up because they kind of fell through before the, they moved the project, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Right, the lot was in question. Is a, the lot know. is the one that needs, has the question of the thing, but right. I don't know. It was okay. They weren't sure, at that point, I don't even think they'd offered it to that buyer the whole lot. So no, they, yeah. they did. Yeah. Did they get that far with him or no? Yeah, he, they did? he said he was open-minded. Yeah, he was very open-minded. Yeah, he yeah. wanted to go forward. Cause right. he, wanted to he said whatever worked, whatever yeah. needed to work, he was willing to go along with. So it's the question who so anyway. was that, uh, where the baseball field was? Yeah. And who would it? Who, who, what's just the choice? Is there like a zoning issue as to what, what it could be well, used the for? The question it was, was donated because as it was donated as a ball field. Uh, did, and it was stipulated as to be used that way. Was the town able to sell, um, sell it for another use? Mm. So, and that question went back and forth mm. for quite a few months, and it kind of got waylaid too many times. That I wonder if there's a way that you could just take the portion of the sale ultimately and say that we're going to take that value of that property and put it towards a recreational use elsewhere in the, in the town. <coughs> Like that a trans feasible? transfer of rights of like some sort. Yeah. You yeah. figure out what to me, that the whole thing sounds like a legal question. Yeah. yeah, it is legal. You know, I don't it's have a way to get it. Really, it really goes back to. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not going to be a lot of money anyway. Yeah. Um, you know, all the people who would have cared what that land is used for are long gone. You no. Know, well, I'm the one. Yeah, I'm the one person that lived there that was very adamant about what was going there. It was gone now too. So. Mm. Um, but if you yeah. did the ear market and said, well, that's, you know, 15% of the total value of the, of the sale, and then take that 15% and allocate it towards a uh, park and rack or another function. Yeah. Seems like it would be a good faith it's, effort. It's a fundamental question that it seemed never have been able to go further than everybody asking the question about it. And it never got resolved. And nobody likes to set precedent either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're right. We have a lawyer for these That's what I things, thought. right? I know. <laughs> we have a lawyer. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Building on that, though, Jennifer did send an email to me about the sale. I think I got it at 4 o'clock, so I haven't, followed, I haven't forwarded it to everybody. But essentially, she was uh, copying myself and, and Judy Stone. It's Judy from the uh, Historical Commission. Mm -hmm. I don't know who that uh, is. Yeah, I think, I think she oh. is. I think that's <clears throat> Anyway, they, uh, uh, Jennifer was looking for any kind of lists or requirements or historic preservation restrictions, anything else that we felt needed to be included in the RFP. Didn't we do that like four years ago? Right, but there was a lot that was in that report, and I guess now's our chance to sort of rethink mm -hmm. whether mm -hmm. we want to handcuff the next buyer as much Doesn't as we... Doesn't it have a preservation oh, that was on it already? It does, it does yeah. and that right. would have to go, so yeah, I don't know that we would... The, yeah. I mean, the only other things we were trying to perhaps access to the pond, these all these other um, things, and I think everyone sort of decided that was... Um, that was well, probably that was back, when, that was back when they were going to have the option A, B, or C on buying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <clears throat> now it's just the whole property. Yeah. Right. Yeah. With the historical... Because Restriction. when we did that, that was before the proposed North Hadley Fire Station, too. Yeah. That was a long time ago. So I don't, I don't know what the timing, uh, actually I do, the timing for the responses would be February 22nd, I guess, at which point they would issue the RFP, uh, the new RFP. So I'll distribute this, which included some of the old documents mm. from back in the day, whenever that was, 
we can just decide and maybe make it a topic of mind our next meeting if, if there's anything else. I, I think we're gonna simply keep the historic preservation restrictions on it. You know, and, and then yeah. Don't make it too stiff the guys else. whoever there's gonna be enough problems up there, <laughs> rough work. And, and the preservation restrictions money. were mostly all outside exterior. Right. So I mean yes. it, it's not it's not yeah. terrible in my no. mind. No, it was just I mean you've still got to allow for you know <coughs> ADA compliance and all that stuff for well, that's, yeah. no, that's not right. part right. of the historic preservation. No, it was mostly the keeping the trim. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So think about it, I'll forward this to everybody. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk at our next meeting about that. Okay. Uh, well, one other thing that we need to bring up, um, it is the end of the year, beginning of the year, so we need to do an annual report for last year. Uh, for the for last the year, you, you did a, a yeah, you did, you did a really a good job. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it to you, and boy, oh boy! You but you, you, you gave I'll me a lot of stuff to start with. It was like you know, all I had to do was uh, make it a little more eloquent, I guess. Tim's in yeah, charge of the outline. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, you, you really what's did. the due date? Yesterday, right? No, <laughs> the 14th or something. Oh, February? Yeah, February. Yeah, February. Two and a half weeks. Yeah. Well, we generally <laughs> start on <laughs> February 12th. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. We, yeah, we've been, we've been a late, uh, late comer to the party. So you're asking me to do No, I, maybe um, you guys send me some bullets. How's that? Let's, let's think about what transpired oh. over the, over the year. I don't need it to be written. Just give me some some highlights that you think are worthy of the town report. Is it calendar year or it's is it calendar year? year. So it's calendar, calendar year, year 2018. Right. And we're doing 2018 it. annual report. So okay. all departments and boards, and Do it. commissions are supposed to hand in I something. Think, yeah, I think the, the projects that we accomplished last year a little uh, more limited, you know, mm -hmm. because right. we had already done the HVAC work at uh, the public safety complex. Yeah, we're still working on that. Yeah, and that's underway continue. again, but then what else, you know, maybe we, I don't, I don't know, we do anything over at the uh, DPW? I thought there was something over there. I can't even remember now. The pole burn, that was, that was the year before. Yeah, I'll have to pull up the list. Yeah. I'll give you a bullet of the projects. It really wasn't <coughs> much. We've done right for projects. Well, I mean, the big thing is we brought on Larry. Yeah, to do a yeah. lot of specs. Seeing that the building committees from Senior Center, uh, um, you know, and the other two projects haven't they? They don't really have any statements in in the town report. Maybe we mentioned the three projects and just you know that we're working with the other committees yeah. to facilitate mm -hmm. that work. Yeah, which is. Yeah. That's been a lot of our work. Yeah, I mean, not take ownership of it, but but right. simply to say that you know, Help it's a out. it's a wide effort to get all these buildings built. Okay. All right. I'll Is this the first time how they've torn down a school? No. I mean, like a. Well, I know the little gym. stuff. Well, not, 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 not since no, nineteen fifty four. We've taken down. <laughs> that we've before. taken down. Um, there was. There was one on Middle um, West Street, and there's okay. one where uh, yeah. Hopkins has been. Actually, there's mine. There's two or two there. I was just curious because uh, when we d yeah, okay. took down the old gym, we f we actually found the um, cornerstone of the old school, old school. Okay. Mm -hmm. and that's now in front of the uh, Bell. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. All right. Good. So thank you for uh, reminding us of that. We'll put some bullets together. Okay. What other business do we have tonight? Oh, just some other things that I think there was some things we talked about before not being some funding for projects, like the HVAC and the evidence locker, and I think there was one more. Yeah, there was a number of. Um, and I did, yeah. I did talk to David about that. He said there is that money. It just didn't get. It, it's there. So we just have to work out. I don't know if it's a transfer or how to get the funds exactly because I was gonna say let's just take this to town meeting let's vote on it this time get it right and he you know corrected me and said that we have the money it's there so, it's allocated. so, the so it is allocated money, yeah like the capital money was the, the rest quote the rest the, of the balance money. so the if balance. it was a $15,000 project and we voted 12 
that three thousand dollars is come from? somewhere. Now I don't know all the accounts, well, and I asked him to see if we could do a transfer. One of them is the Russell School account. And, and, and a couple yeah. of the other ones, I don't know. Like I don't know. I don't know all the details. I don't either. know all of them either, but I know two or three of them. Russell School came up. But I can follow back up with him. But because I vet, said we could put this on capital for the, the town meeting for the police station, we did go through the smaller job, and uh, and we've come, trying to come up with a couple different figures. Uh, Larry got together with uh, BG Mechanical. Yeah. And one of them, we're hoping we can. It'll be a little bit less expensive than what it was thought to be the first time because we found an easier way of doing it. Okay. And then, but that's got to be done. I mean, <laughs> Mike's got a mold project growing in his yeah, eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I, I don't know where your time lines up and where this, you know, project's yeah. over here and all that, but yeah. we're right I was, now, I was this, assured the job was waiting for the redesign, so, you know, yeah. pricing and then... You know, that's going to start, obviously, because you know, before you know it, we're going to be running the air conditioning again. Yeah, yeah. So we definitely need to do the the rest of the HVAC. The other the other item... Uh, was the evidence locker? The evidence, the evidence locker was from the not police. Not from, from, from the police. The police yeah. With so that poor ceiling, maybe. Yeah, did we ever do that, Sally? Oh, ceiling no, insulation? because the that's money, the other thing the money we had it was for the insulation. We We've never had the money for the... We ne that wasn't no. part of it for this year, was tear the ceiling down. Capital. I don't think we had that on there. You see, that's the one we need to look at to see where that is. That where the, the the bay, uh, not the bay doors. The uh, there was part of something over in the DPW there. DPW is the gable end. The gable, gable end. Was that the one that was short too? That was the one. Yeah, yeah that was yes, short that quite was a bit. Short, yeah, but I thought that was done. No, that's that never different. got done. No, the gable ends never got done. Never they got just done. got approved at fall. <coughs> the capital. So we now have the full budget for that. No. We don't. We have to go back to town meeting. Three of the I don't capitals. know. That's no, what so I that's know. what I was okay. that's where that's I I was, was ready to put it on the warrant for this town meeting yeah. to yeah. get the balances right and David assured me we had it. So I mean we, I don't know where it's coming from it, because Yeah. You know, the the big the, the big pool of money was the Russell School. Yeah, yeah. And I know some of them I've it heard wasn't that big. I've it heard wasn't that big. Some of us already. I've heard three it. of yeah. them. Yeah, we've already done one project with it down at the DPW that was not on capital. Okay. And yeah. I know there was three other ones that that count was mentioned on. One yeah. of them being the evidence locker that we didn't put forward that the police did. Yeah. And the but the gable ends. Well, I'll follow I, up again. The gable ends I heard was sewer and water fund. Is there yeah. a possibility that we could get whoever needs to do it if it's David or whatever? These accounts, what's in them? I know, yeah. And what the money's allocated to? Yeah. I mean, you have you have on the capital four of the projects. Yeah. Um, and you, we have the painting of the that's CPA. That's CPA. But what we, I guess, Gary and I can do is get to you a, a list of the projects that we yeah. might. Be questionable because that's the problem. The I don't budgets, even the, the, you well, I'll, I'll ask cost. him for the, the account numbers no. or whatever so we can know the, where and, it's the, and the balance what mm. account that's coming Cause from. I, because I wanted to ask him can we just transfer the money from this pool into those project accounts? Well, that's the problem, you know, because and he I, I, I didn't get I didn't get a yes know, or no on the that. police but chief said, Yeah, go ahead and order it. Yeah. The guy who orders, he goes, wait a minute. He goes, just, this isn't jiving here. It's not, we're not and getting... did he work it out? I haven't talked Well, he t said where it's coming from, but, you right. know, the police chief doesn't have access to that. Yeah. You know, so okay. th that's where there's a lot of confusion. Nobody yeah, knows no, exactly. I, I mean, there's rumors yeah. going around, but it's not... Yeah, and not I was ready somewhere. to just, like, if we need $10,000 more and on we capital need to, know, to get these done, the Russell let's School do money it. only has a certain amount, so we've got to, somebody needs to add it up and make sure that it's still there. Yeah, yeah. The total. And the fire chief has a couple of those projects too. The same question that there was, uh, there, there was estimates for some work, and uh, at the line item for the is a lot less than. I mean, it's something that's not part of this. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Commission or what we're dealing with, but overall, it seems to be happening. Yeah. And it's just a question. Yeah, I think when I looked back at what we voted on at town meeting <coughs> that we had in the capital plan, there were, I think, three different projects that were different. Mm -hmm. So so I don't know about the one with the fire. 
I don't know. I know. Yeah, I know the game lens, the HVAC, and the evidence, evidence locker. Yeah. I think I think that was it for the one. Well, two of them. We didn't put it in the evidence locker. That was no. Yeah, yeah. It was just in the capital. That was listed in the right. capital line, line items. So. Well, before we need a warrant article, let's make sure we we have them. Have yeah. need. When don't they have to be in by February 12th or so 13th? Something like that? I guess. Somewhere around there, yeah. The four, yeah. It's would be, yeah, probably whatever Wednesday it is there. You could yeah. you could give David Nixon a, a list of the projects and the budgets yeah. we well, think I'll we need for each one. Or Chris is working on it. Yeah, great. Yeah, the 13th. It, it I, I mean, I have them. Or saw them. I don't. I don't know the account numbers. You know. It what seems where we lose some of these. Some of this is where you know we we get estimates on these projects, and then the you know the actual quote comes in higher, and we have to go back for more money. Well, capital we put in for higher than what the estimate was. The problem is that the, yeah. the capital came back Below less than what we put in for. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And it's a, it just it starts to fall through the cracks, and before you know it, the project's well, not done. Well, yeah, because oh, yeah. it's yeah. somewhere, and nobody knows now where it is. Now we need new bids because it's yeah. Really yeah. And honestly, if we're talking a few thousand dollars at a town meeting, nobody's putting up a fuss over it. Right. It's like we just want to get these done. It, you know, if it's fifteen thousand and we have thirteen thousand, we're not saving anybody any money by that two thousand dollars. Well, just, Christian, that's why. Yeah, that's the frustration. This I have. committee's always been pushing. Yeah. We need to come up with a dollar figure that everybody's comfortable with, whatever it is, mm -hmm. and say, all right, this money is allocated for the following year for, for maintenance projects. This committee that can take that and say, all right, here's the things that we should prioritize and just go through it until we run out of money. Yeah, yeah. And we, that's we need, the we best need, we know. We, we need money for, to, to do the, these things and not have to beg for every little project. And, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. You know, document through, it. And, our big problem is yeah. that we get these estimates almost nine months yeah. before we yeah. can get the yeah. money and everything nine is... Nine months, it's usually a year and nine months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if we could just say, all right, time to say, let's get this pool of money together for maintenance mm -hmm. and whatever it is and we're going to have some lean years is going to be a tiny amount of money mm -hmm. so what but let's get something mm -hmm. and then we can then say all right and then go to prioritize them go to you and say hey this is what we're recommended let's do these you guys vote on it and we'll just go ahead and, and do it yeah yeah I mean, we have spent so much time dealing with estimates and going back and forth and trying to figure out where the money's coming from. It's just kind of crazy. And, and those are for the things that you know are need <laughs> fixing. Then you get something that like let's go, an air handler or something like that. Oh, yeah. You know, and now you've got no money. Mm -hmm. That's why I'd like to really get ahead of this. I mean, yeah. we've been yeah. saying this for years, like, you yeah. know, we have all these projects and such, but honestly, we, we, we have, we're going to have a couple of new buildings. We're going to know based on life cycle, when we're gonna need new boilers and mm -hmm. new paint and right. new things. And so we should be building this budget out for five right. to 10 years. You should have money. And there should be no surprise when right. we come in for, uh, you know, with, with a dollar figure of a yearly cost on buildings mm -hmm. because it's warranted yeah. based on what we know of the products right. we have. And, and so we, again, we're getting to Springtown meeting without that list and it's just, we're, we just need to get organized and do it. Yeah, and I can look and see if, you know, the way we do it, the way we do it is because of a bylaw or something, you know, can we change a bylaw and then I maybe get more of a capital? I mean, or is there some reason capital projects over 10000 It's like an operating budget versus a capital budget. Yeah, can we do anything with capital? We understand you have to go out yeah. and, get, and go through oh, the yeah. process, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But we, we seem to reverse everything figure out what, what we think I mean, we're going to do and then go get estimates and nine months later we go to town. I mean a perfect before. example is they just the bumped it, the capital plan from five years to ten years. Yeah. I mean, I don't know anybody that's going to give you a price on something that's ten years down the road. Oh yeah, but that's more for big picture planning. But of, I don't care what, yeah, the yeah. big picture or small picture, there's no way you're going to even come up with a price. If you're going out ten years, that just means that the can's getting kicked further and further down the road. But you can be smart about yeah. it. You can add inflation per year, and you know, 
We know we know the roofs we're going to need to replace in ten years, and we can we can put a number on yeah. that. It may not be uh, well, right on, right. but at least yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. placeholder. It's a good place closer. to say what's coming up. But, yeah, that's what it's. But for. you still don't have the monies available if something breaks, like when the police station boiler let go. You know, yeah, eight years ago. No, or uh, this yeah. project at the town hall is a perfect example too. Right, you know? there's no money. To, we're nitpicking. You know, yeah, only a few thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we're, we're saying we can't do it. Do yeah. the the schools have their own yes. committee and the library has its own committee for budgeting. For their they have their plan, yes. they budget Correct. their plan. The senior center right now is in Hooker School, but when they have their new building, they'll have their own budget committee, finance committee. Well the OPM is supposed to give us a, at right. least a maintenance cost of what it's gonna cost. Well the senior center but has their is budget now that it's a budget for that building right. for building maintenance. There is. Yes. The only one that's it's in their budget, or it's in it's under the DPW. DPW uh, okay. See, that's, well, it's that's like, another that's the building thing. Yeah, it's own but there's budget. But there's buildings, and then the, like the senior center has money for like the equipment in there. Like if the refrigerator goes, that's right. not you know. And then the electrical is somewhere else, and the fuel oil is somewhere. I mean, else. That we've had it. It's just too many. Right. Public right. safety has their own budgets, but it's but that's under the fire. Deep. And that's uh -huh. not that's under, under, oh, that's under, under DPW, DPW. Well. but it's okay. they're separate, but they're in one thing, and right. some monies now can be taken out it's and used in different buildings. And I see. Okay. Thank you. I just wanted. To yeah, but the school yeah. is they separate. They have their. Yeah, they, have, they, they have, have to legally be yeah. separate. I okay. They can't be under our budgets. So with mm -hmm. the new library and new senior, with their operating budget and maintenance budget for those new buildings be taken out of the highway it, it, and put into their own? No. It's they we finally moved those budgets into the highway. It's kind of under the purvey of the highway building maintenance. It's a separate building maintenance line item in the highway mm -hmm. budget. Yeah. So it's, the it's point right. would be to get all of them there or none of them there, but at least make, make I, it well, consistent. Least under it. They're all there now, I think. The library is there. I think all the buildings are under. I think DPW. they all are now. All the buildings are okay, except for the except for the schools. Except for the schools, yeah. And that's for HVAC or painting or whatever repairs, I guess, not renovations. I think, yeah, the well building yes. maintenance line item is under the DPW. Is under, yeah, there's yeah. not much in the budget. There's not yeah. much there. I. Well, I almost feel it's like been too, maybe that's what we need to go to you know we have a new DPW director maybe there has to be more integration between this committee and the DPW somehow uh, that's whether yeah, that's there's the first that's part of this board the, or well, put it this way that those budgets have been level funded for I think the last oh, yeah. three years or four years yeah. that's, but that's what has to happen. and your yeah you know your your uh, contracted costs are going up every year yeah so in reality the money that you can spend on the buildings are going is going down right. every year. And remember, all the things that we've done wasn't under the DPW budget. No, mm -hmm. we we went and got that money separately. Okay. So um, for projects, for, for projects. all the projects, and then what we've been trying to say is we need to get money into those budgets to do these projects before we even start thinking. It about should be them. in the budget, not. Yeah, not going, the way we're no, pigeonholing no, every project that's right. got to be done in every yeah. building and every place. We've been successful, you know, with the project we did have. You know, We've we been success, very successful yeah, at getting the money. Yeah, voting for these yeah, for are. these projects. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, up to seven hundred thousand dollars. But they should be. We should have. There's a better way of doing this. Right. We go so through with a list and say we need money for these buildings. Maybe if we put into our annual report. You know, as an objective, mm -hmm. we're trying to, you know, so in that way it's presented that's good, to yeah. the voters. That's a good idea. Of, yeah. Well, we have put that into our annual yeah, report. Yeah, exactly. I remember. Yeah, well, maybe oh. just reiterate, reiterate the fact yeah. by the town, the, the voters, and, you know, mm -hmm. maybe we could get the, a placeholder to, to get that money on board in a, in a line item somewhere, account number, something. It just makes sense. So all the money that's in under highway for building maintenance, yeah. which would be all buildings other than schools, right. mm -hmm. um, has that money been in the last few years spent on maintenance on these buildings? Well, the, yeah, but the problem is like last year we ended up giving money back in the, from the police station, I believe, but we, I didn't have control of the money. 
nobody you know and we we were all told we were told that there was no money left from like january on mm -hmm. so we didn't spend any money unless we had to for the police station mm -hmm. we got down at the end of the year and found out there was like fifteen thousand dollars left that we could have used and I mean, we found out like two weeks left so you couldn't even get a price on anything but that doesn't do so the, that money went the back. voter or the town any no. good. No, yeah, no, no. 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 We already voted saying. for taxpayer right. voted yeah. to spend the money on maintenance, and somebody's saying there is no money, and then all of a sudden and then you're giving money back. Yeah, you're giving mm -hmm. money back. It makes zero sense. And the buildings are deteriorating, so right. now that, that fifteen thousand cost you eighteen or twenty thousand. Right. right. And yeah. escalation. So somehow, I, I the guess it, break. It, it'd be nice. To really know where that money is, and nobody's going to mm -hmm. grab it or hide it. Yeah, and it's there to actually. You got a maintenance guy that you hire. Oh yeah, yeah. Let yeah. them do some maintenance. I mean, we've had that project for the gable ends on you know two we've been well, two years. Mm -hmm. Chasing that for two years. Now right. The planning board got an air conditioner in their room. Is it this last year? No, that was three years ago. Three years ago. I, well, just, I, I never really understood where that money came that from. That money was in a budget somewhere. It was in that uh, Russell School Senior Center budget or none, whatever. Budget. None of that project filtered through us, though. No. We knew that building was coming down. Right. But the gable ends, that's just painting the, the blue. No, blue it's, it's taking the blue board. They're all, all the tongue and grooves popped. Okay, so it's all So it's take, cutting it off, and well, the quote was to put the uh, cut off of plywood and the vinyl side it. But if you go up in there, you know you can start to see right through this yeah. thing. Start but if there, let go. But mm -hmm. if there was fifteen thousand that, um, you know, disappeared and then reappeared, it's too bad the work didn't get done. Yeah, it would be well within that. Yeah. Well, that that each one is divided up into buildings. There's a number. Yeah, I know. It, it can be spent all around. Yeah. You know, because it's in one, under one line item now is the way I understand it. But um, you know, there was stuff that the police station could have done too. Right. You know, we could have done you know, like one of the HVAC projects with it had we known ahead of time. But I guess my point is, there was money there, and we talk about just the gable ends, right? And it's deteriorating more and more. Right. And well, same the with water, the HVAC. There was, you know, there was there was projects we could have done, whether it was in that same building or not. There yeah. was stuff that could and have been done. And water's getting in there, and there right. was something else behind it. Right. And so here we are, just wasting our buildings, and especially where there was some money. Yeah. So Gary, when you if you want to do the HVAC project, who signs off on it? who do you, and you need a purchase order or whatever it is, do you give that to Christopher and he comes right. up with the money? No, right. Well, the HVAC right now is part of that capital. It's part of that cap. So well, some of it's capital, and the other part but, is but, we got to find. Yeah, out. but like when you get the bill or whatever it is, well, or sign off, you need somebody to approve yeah, the project. Yeah, normally I who would have. It. Why well, had Marlo or somebody like that do it? But the yeah. problem is, I don't know who signs off on capital. But you probably David take it to off. Christopher at this point, at right? At this point, or I would take it to Christopher David and want. find out yeah. Yeah, if Chris he's handle it. if he's able to do it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I don't know the, the money. Order. And then somebody just, else has got to yeah. you know I don't know where the other part's coming from. If it's that Russell is School. one of the issues. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. like the pavilion I got into. <clears throat> who's supposed to sign this stuff? And you know, because the capital, I got I had three funding sources. Who makes that determination? It, I just said, here's the bills. You guys figure it out. Because you know, it's just kind of kind of nutty sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll go and get something on the credit card or something through one of the highway accounts, and then I got to give it to Tim, and he's got to find out who signs off and give it back to Sharon. And, and then it goes back over to Linda. <laughs> it's, then Linda yeah. goes, okay. and puts it in a file. And goes, yeah. it's yeah. going to go over to Mary, <laughs> Mary Beth. There we go. Oh, okay. be was better. that a good synopsis? It was. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, yes. How many circles did you draw? Well, that's not yeah. Discuss. Yeah. Build <laughs> right there, you go. A couple of words. <laughs> yeah. Good. Well, and it wasn't like that before when we had Gail. You just handed the right. Gail. If, and and if you had a question with Gail, you could Gail. <laughs> Gail, is this? What do I do with this? How does this work? And she would she, give us a form, and we would know how much money was left in the account. So we knew we weren't sitting on. You know, we'd get surprised with fifteen. And if grand. we were short by some money, we asked the Gail, "What could we do about this?" Right. And she always came up with something. Yeah. We and she also have had, that and anymore. she knew the rules for you know, yeah. This can be used for this, but not this. Okay. And she would tell us. I mean, yeah, we were 
extremely spoiled, but it was a good spoil. I mean, you could go down there and every, everything and anything was resolved quickly. You know, and, and by getting the records a couple of times, I caught bills that had gone in the wrong, you know, I wrong department or something like that. It's like, wait a minute, that's not how that money's going from. Well, you guys, I, I, yeah. I, and when did she retire? I, I get, she did. She went to work I get we else. don't okay. have the organization we hold for here at town meeting, but, but town hall. But Do honestly, I mean, I think we ought to have a list of all the projects that we're planning, the budgets, yeah. the goal for when we're going to start the project, and maybe what we have or where the money is. But at least let's hold that up and you know and have it at the ready at every meeting that we have. Let's let's talk about it, you know, and we need to add projects or whatever. I, and we we should be organized enough that we shouldn't have to recall. Let's see, is it the Gables? Did we do the Gables? Didn't we do the Gables? How much is the Gables costing us? Well, this, we should yeah, know. We that. dropped we dropped that because of all the other stuff that was going on. Yeah, we never but, got back into. But the list is still the list. We ought to have the list. The list, the list. Still there. So yeah. it shouldn't be hard. To, no, you know, put them put them on a piece no. of paper. I feel to find that list. It's all highlighted. I've got <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one? Well, that list is only a couple of things left on it. But I've got the capital list. I just didn't bring that folder. No, I didn't do yeah. It. No problem. Yeah. Okay. You want it for next meeting? Mr. I Chair. want it for every meeting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want a running list right here. Here's everything we're going to do this year that we haven't done yet. So we just keep our eye on the prize, right? Yeah. Second that. Well, there's both. The problem is, there's more than us involved in this project, I know. and that's usually what we can only do so much. But we can at least tell you. know what has to be done. We're so frustrated over all this. Good right. thing we drank. <laughs> 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 yeah. On that note, yeah. On that note. <laughs> Any other business tonight? Anyone? Do I have a motion to adjourn? I make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, we are adjourned. Thanks, everybody.